Defining emotional intelligence is one thing. Measuring emotional intelligence and the skills that separate the highest performing leaders from the rest is the next step. And I think we've done that, and we've done that well with the ECR. But the really big challenge is can you develop these skills then to really add value to a business and to change the performance of leaders in that business. The ECR uh, solution provides organisations with a very powerful and concrete language around which to discuss some of the most challenging uh, and often, however, less tangible elements of leadership. If you invest actually in emotional intelligence of your leaders, you invest as well into much better performing teams. But how do you actually apply it? How do you deploy it? How do you develop it? How do you measure it? Are the big questions. When you say the word of emotional intelligence, uh, they, some people get fearful of it because you're talking about emotions. I recently met with an engineering company who were like, well, we've got engineers here, um, we don't do emotions. But then we talk, started talking about their leadership values and they showed me their, their, their behavioural framework. And it was the language of emotional intelligence, they just haven't called it emotional intelligence. Real performance is driven by a deeper set of drivers and those drivers are essentially emotionally and socially based. We were able to examine the experience of 10,000 professional people from around the globe. And once we took a forensic lens and had a very close look at that, we ended up with 3,240 profiles that gave us the clearest picture yet of what exceptional leadership really looks like. The missing element in a lot of leadership programs is measurement. Uh, measurement before the program, uh, the, the area of development, what, how are we developing throughout the program, and then a measurement at the end of the program. Uh, talking about ECR, it's all about behavioural change. You know, what does self-confidence mean? What does empathy mean? What does it take to build uh, powerful relationships? All of a sudden you have a very clear structure. This can be measured and you can actually um, uh, manage the progress for this. Any measurement system has to be underpinned by a good scientific premise and the ECR is. Is there a relationship between these emotional and social skills, emotional intelligence and leadership performance? In the ECR there are 77 questions, it takes no more than 10 to 12 minutes to complete to get a profile that benchmarks you against some of the world's best. It is the biggest thing facing organisations, how can we get um, how can we develop our leaders um, so that they're the leaders of the future? It was more than just a tool. And Roche Martin have a very clear process as to how you provide that feedback. And the feedback that we've given from people that have gone through that experience is that they've said it's, it's the best 90 minutes that they've spent uh, in their career to date. So if you want to change human behaviour, psychology tells us two things. You need insight. Secondly, provide them with tactics, skill sets or stepping stones if you like, so they can systematically change their behaviour to see a different set of results in their experience. The skills you need to engage this new generation, to draw out their talent and make it dance in an organisation are fundamentally emotional and social and the value of those skills can be calculated and we call it emotional capital.